A center for innovation and development in a field that aims to surpass the limits of the skies. The Houston Spaceport is creating a home for some of the forward thinkers in aerospace. And our space reporter, Roseanne Aragon, got a one-on-one -on -one tour of that incredible facility. It's unbelievable the speed that we've been moving at. We are doing things that uh, some thought were not possible here. Co-located at Ellington Airport is an epicenter for development. Spaceport Houston is phenomenal. It's our home. It gives us a sense of community. A growing resource. In the back we print uh, a high nickel steel. And multi-purpose space to help the aerospace industry thrive. Their business is space and other things that are more complicated than the roadways, the sewage, the electric power. We do all that for them. We've created the neighborhood. The Houston Spaceport is or will be home to leading companies like Axiom, Collins Aerospace, and Intuitive Machines. We're going to build our Nova Sea Lunar Lander. Awesome. Let's go in. Founded by former JSC Deputy Director and NASA Human Spaceflight Engineer Steve Altimus, Intuitive Machines was chosen by NASA for three missions. We're all about going to the moon, landing on the moon, orbiting the moon. Starting with landing their Nova Sea Lunar Lander next year. Pretty much everything in this room will be in space. The spaceport is licensed for horizontal launches, so no rocket launches here. But lots of testing and other lower level flights. At the Houston Aerospace Support Center, innovation. Here are all the different boards and controllers that we build. But without having the talent, there's nothing that you can do. San Jacinto College created the Edge Center here. There's no place else in the country that can do this. Building the workforce industry craves. They let us know what they needed, and that's what we've developed here. A student can get that training, both knowledge training and hands-on skills, partner with one of our, our industry partners through internships and right into employment. And with future projects and tenants breaking ground. As we speak, we have uh, contracts in our books that are uh, account for about 700,000 square feet of new new construction. This construction is not just the buildings, right, but the 1,500 people that come with them and the jobs that they will create. The future of Space City is bright. Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News.